for skills today, dragonflies, you again are going to be in key to fractions, to multiplying and dividing. And the concept we're working on this week is finding factors of numbers. Those numbers that divide equally and perfectly into the, the whole number. So yesterday you completed um, page five. So that was this one. And today we, oh, excuse me. Yep, page five. And today we are on to page six. So what you're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, except now they're fraction based. So this is going to lead us into simplifying fractions. In order to simplify fractions, we need to find the greatest common factor between both the numerator and the denominator. But we're going to ease our way into that so that it just becomes a little more comfortable and natural to us. So I, again, am going to show you this top one. They list the numbers differently than we have in class. If you find you like this way, that's great. You know, I always encourage you to find your own road and own pathway. Uh, but I'm going to do it the way that we learned in class. So the first one I have up on the board is the same one. Then I'm going to not do these three, but I'll try at least uh, one, one more example. Okay, so here we go. Turn the camera. So we are going to find the factors of both of these numbers, right? Again, I know that for every number, a factor is 1 in itself, 1 and 15. Now, this is where memorization comes in. Which numbers do I know I can multiply to get 15 or divide by 15 and get a whole number? All right, it has a 5. That should be a really big hint. Five. But who is five's partner? What do I have to multiply five by to get 15? Five, 10, 15, three. Right, and here's our rainbow. One times 15 is 15. Three times five is 15. Great, those are all the factors. So that's this top bubble right here. I just haven't made the little bubble around it. 18. Okay, here I go. 1 and 18. It's even. Ding, ding, ding. That should spark a light bulb too. If it's even, 2 goes into it. Who is 2's partner to go into 18? Hmm. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. And then, I think, uh, yeah, okay, 2 times 9 is 18. And then it looks like I'm missing something else. What else goes into it? Hmm, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. 3 and 6. All right, right? 1 times 18 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18. So then what it's telling you to do right here is that bubble is our common factors. Common factors. Which numbers do they have in common? So which numbers are the same between the two numbers? Common factors. I see 1. 1. I see 3 and three. Great. So that is what we put over here. One and three. Now, this is that's all it's asking you to do. Just the common factors. But if you want to go ahead and circle the greatest common factor, the greatest common factor, that is the bigger number of the common factors. So is one or three bigger? Three. So then, when we get to simplifying fractions next week, we divide by the greatest common factor. So I'm just going to write that down here. This is just a little bit ahead. That's okay. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you. Okay, 15 divided by the greatest common factor. 18 divided by the greatest common factor. Okay. 15 divided by 3, 5. 
18 divided by 3, 6. So the simplified version of 15 18 that's what it means to simplify it, make it smaller to its smallest form. The simplified version of 15 18 is 5 6. But that's just a little bit ahead. If you want to do that for these, that's great. There's plenty of room on the side. Okay, so now I'm going to do a different one, but I'm not going to do one of the examples because I'm going to leave that for you. Let's do twelve over sixteen. Next week, when you're simplifying fractions, you might say, Oh, they're both even. I can cut those directly in half. But for today, we're going to make sure we list all the factors, all the factors, and then that's the goal. Okay. So, some of you might have 12 memorized from December. Okay, one in itself. One in itself. It's even. Two. Two times what is 12? Six. All right, then there's two little small ones in there. What can be multiplied? That's in between two and six. I can get to 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. All these numbers are factors of 12 because they can be divided evenly and perfectly into 12. Now we go on to 16. I know the first two numbers are 1 and 16. It's even two, who's two's partner? Two times what is 16? Sorry, I might be speaking a little fast because there's no children in front of me, but I hope I'm going at an okay pace. Two times eight is 16. And then, okay, does three go into 16? Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Okay, I don't need to skip count for that one. Four, four, eight, 12, 16. Oh, four goes into it. And 4 goes into it how many times 4? So I only have to write 4 once. All right, here are my factors for both. Now we need to find the common factors. Not the greatest common factors, we're just doing the common factors. So the ones that are twins are the same. 1, 2, 4. I'm going to write them. Okay, 1, 2, and 4 are the common factors. Then, greatest common factor, might as well just get in the habit of that, 4. So if I'm going to simplify this fraction, if I, I'm going to divide it by 4 to get the simplest form. Twelve divided by four, who's first partner? Three. Sixteen divided by four. Four. So that's a simplified version. That's just a little extra stuff. But today, go ahead and. Whoops, sorry. My foot got caught on the charger. Uh, go ahead and finish these three. Shouldn't take you very long, and that'll get us into the. Rhythm and routine for simplifying fractions. Okay, practice makes proficient. Have a great day.